When it comes to taking supplements, first of all, you have to understand that they aren't necessary. And if you need to see your specialist to get approved to take any of these supplements, I advise you to go ahead and do so. But if you're a normal, healthy, and able body, then today I'm going to talk to you about which supplements you could or should be taking in order to get the max amount of results in your challenge. So the supplement world is massive and there was a survey done by Stats Canada that showed that 44% of people six and over are taking some sort of supplements. Now when it comes to the ones that we want you to take, your belly burn coach will be giving you specific supplement plans and guides that are based on your goals and they're going to let you know how much and when you should be taking it. And when it comes to taking the supplements is that you could always modify the plan. So you can start low and you can go higher or if you went too high, you could always modify and scale back. You can try something new, you can take something out. It's all about read and response and see what works best with your body. But today I'm gonna to give you the generalized outline of all the supplements that you could be taking here at Fit Club. The first supplement that you can take is called Lipotropics. Lipo means fat and tropics means to break it down. The primary thing that these do is it goes into the visceral fat. It can also go into your subcutaneous fat, which is like the subcutaneous fat is just below the skin and your visceral fat is the deep fat that sits around your vital organs. Generally speaking, if your visceral fat is seven or under, you don't necessarily need to use the lipotropics, although it's been shown to help people decrease their body fat. So what it does, it actually takes the fat, the solid big glumpy fat, and it breaks it down into smaller particles. Obviously, the smaller the particles are, the easier your body is to utilize them as fuel. And so you wanna take that big chunky fat and you want it broken down so that when you actually demand to be used fat as fuel, they're easier to break down and they're readily available. The second supplement is L-carnitine. So now that the fat cells have broken down into small particles, L-carnitine is like drinking water out of a small water hole. So the smaller the water hole, the less water is going to be able to be, be drank by yourself. Whereas L-carnitine, it actually increases the doorway for the small particles of fat to be released and used as energy. So L-carnitine opens up that gateway to let the fat cells out and be able to be used as energy. The third supplement is Leaner. So Leaner is one of the best products that I've ever found on the market. And it's an all natural energy pill that decreases your appetite and it also helps to burn fat as fuel in multiple ways and it also increases your metabolism while you're at rest. So you're gonna get a small energy boost, it's going to help you to utilize more fat as fuel and then it's also gonna help you to burn more calories and more specifically more calories from fat at rest. The next supplement is ephedrine. Now this one must be taken with caution if you have a pre-existing heart or if you have any blood pressure issues because it will increase your heart rate and it will affect your blood pressure, especially if you go into higher dosages. Nowadays the dosages are very small, like eight milligrams, where they used to be like 200 milligrams. But this supplement is often used in low doses to help you work harder, to burn more calories, to decrease your appetite and to increase how many calories you burn at rest and use your body fat as fuel. Now I personally tried going without ephedrine and trying with ephedrine and I noticed that in a 30 minute workout, I would normally burn anywhere from like, let's say 125 calories to 150 calories. Now if I were to take, let's say 16 milligrams up to 24 milligrams of ephedrine, I noticed a 50 to 75 more caloric burn just by taking that supplement alone. So ephedrine is a great supplement when it comes to making you work harder, decreasing your appetite, and burning more calories from fat as fuel. But again, it's one of the ones that you must take caution with if you have a pre-existing heart condition. Another supplement that is probably the most utilized supplement in all of the world is protein. So protein powder is a derivative of milk. Okay, so it's the curds and whey, it's whey protein. So unless you have any adverse effects to lactose, even if you do, a lot of the isolates that are available are pretty much lactose free, so it shouldn't upset your stomach. But other than that, protein is just that. It's a food source that they separated one of the macros. Remember macros are carbs, proteins, and fats. And so they've separated the protein and they put it into a powder form, which makes it easily for you to get your protein numbers up, easy for you to carry it around without having to cook anything. And most of the protein powders out there, especially the ones that we sell at the gym, tastes great. So it's a great way for you to boost your numbers, to help 
stimulate the muscle recovery, and to help build new muscle. The next supplement that we have at Fit Club is called EAAs, and it's great when you're in a low caloric budget. So when your calories and your protein numbers are a little bit lower, it's always good to get those EAAs, which are essential amino acids, and they help to rebuild your muscle without adding extra calories to your overall budget. And the bonus of these EAAs is that they actually taste great. A supplement that I would recommend everybody to take year round, but most people just take it in a challenge, is called the VitaStack. Now I love the VitaStack because it's affordable and it's got everything that you need when it comes to vitamins, recovery, bone and joint. It helps with your digestive system. It provides brain fuel, so it actually makes you think clearer and it actually wakes you up a little bit. There's electrolytes in there and all the vitamins and minerals that you're gonna need are built into this VitaStack, which is 30 packages of everything that you need and you take one every single day. And the last supplement that I'd recommend for you is called Watertight. Now not everybody needs to take this, but it's a quick hack we do before a photo shoot to make the skin look tighter to the muscles. So it basically removes some of the excess water that you have between the skin and the muscles and it tightens up. Now this is only a temporary fix and you'd only run this in and around a belly burn challenge or if you got like a photo shoot or if you're going to a bikini thing the next day, but it will cause dehydration. So it's one of those things that you take under the guidance of your belly burn coach. So there we have it guys, the supplements that I would recommend for you to take, especially taking in a challenge. Your coach is gonna provide you with specific parameters of how and when to take them, but they definitely will help you to get you closer to your goal.